Federal government has approved the establishment of six new federal colleges of education in each of the six geopolitical zones of the country. Ben Gung, a spokesperson for the Ministry of Education, told media that the new institution would be located. Uh, a spokesperson for the Federal Ministry of Education who confirmed the development said the new institutions will be located at the six geopolitical zones. The benefiting states are Bauchi, Benue, Ebonyi, Oshun, Sokoto, and Edo states. There are 152 colleges of education in Nigeria, consisting of 21 federal and 82 private, with 49 state colleges as well. And joining us to discuss this development is educationist and social commentator Dr. Mma Olaibera. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. And good to have you this morning with us. Thank you. Now, in the it's middle my of. Pleasure. All right. In the middle of a pandemic, Nigerian government has approved the establishment of six new federal colleges of education, and it seems there are plans to take off soon. What, what's your thought on this? Yeah, it's a welcome and thoughtful development and cannot be diverted by any pandemic because learning is a continuous process and we cannot leave our children in the lodge for the flimsy result of a pandemic. To do so is to discourage education and knowledge. And like we know, it is knowledge that drives the world. Knowledge creates solutions for problems. And that is one of the functions of education. The earlier it takes off, the better for us. But the problem we have in this country is that of implementation. Government normally comes up with laudable programs, but where the challenge lies is implementation. Thank you. Now, th th there are 152 colleges of education in Nigeria already, which, you know, as you know, consists of 21 federal, 82 private, and 49 state colleges. Do we really need more, Dr. Ma? Sure. We need more and more quality ones. It's unfortunate that we don't have enough trained teachers in Nigeria for our schools. Far from it. Nigeria does not have 20% of qualified teachers from the kindergarten to the university. During Barack Obama's reign in America, he challenged the American education with the task of out-educating the world in the next five years. Little did most people know Finland, a country of less than 6 million people, just like the population of my state, Imo, is leading the entire world in education. And you may ask why. It is simply because, dear, a professor of atomic bomb is not qualified to teach in a secondary or tertiary institution or any sector of education if he does not obtain his bachelor's, master's, doctorate in education as per the subject he graduated in. If you must be a professional teacher in any level of education, you must have your degrees in education. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Now, all right, doctor, Ni Nigeria's National Bureau of Statistics says only one in four Nigerians have internet access, but three out of four have mobile phones. Now, how can we bridge this divide to ensure education does not suffer unduly? You see, our educational system needs overhauling. It must undergo a revolution and fine tuning to be problem solvers creators of jobs, and not just a certificate manufacturing industry, which, of course, has kept us as a docile and consumer nation. Our educational system lacks what the present economy requires. There is a big gap between what we learn in school and what the present eco economy requires. What we are simply being taught how to work for others and not for ourselves. That's why our educational institutions have continuously produced school leavers and graduates who are ill-equipped to take up opportunities and entrepreneurial activity. You see, information and, communi and communication technology is the key to success in virtually all spheres of life with well-articulated and programs. Teachers can use ICT to keep students in lecture room. The challenge we have here is that many of our teachers are analog. We cannot be giving our children 20th century training for the challenges of 21st century. Is it not like solving yesterday's problems today, leaving to tomorrow's and today's program? Can analog teachers 
effectively the students of the digital age. Will analog students in Nigeria compete with their mates in digital age in Ghana or America? Thank, Thank you so you. very much, Dr. Ma, for your interventions there. And do keep safe where you are. Thank you, and God bless.